good morning everyone so let us start our class so we were discussing sets in the last video exercise 2.4 question number 1 till number c we have done so today let us start with question number d so what is question number d a minus b equal to a if and only if a intersection b is equal to 5 so another if and only if proof so let first uh, at first let us take a minus b is equal to a as our given Question number one, number A, number D solution. So let let A minus B equal to A. We have to show we have to show A intersection B to be five at first, and then conversely we have to prove it. So how to start? Usually we start from what? Left hand side, we go to given, we use the given, then we come to right hand side. Right. But see, in this question, not in all question, okay. In this question, in maximum question, we're doing the same process only. But in this question, I cannot write let x belongs to A intersection B. Why I cannot write this? Simple. A intersection B equal to the five. Phi the kabola. Mane eko nai ta, phi empty. So how can I write x belongs to a intersection b? X belongs to a intersection b, meaning hoy a intersection b bhitora kona se x se. X belongs to a intersection b, meaning hoy that a intersection b bhitora kona se x se. But I have to show a intersection b equal to phi. So how can I write that x belongs to a intersection b? Maximum question, 95% question I mean, okay, solve for left hand side, then go to given, use the given, then come to right hand side, but not in this question. In this question, I will not write x belongs to a intersection B because logical error will happen. So how to start? I will write, I will start from here. Let x belongs to A. Let x belongs to A. Then implies x belongs to A is equal to A minus B from given I can write. In place of a, I will write what a minus b since since a minus b equal to a. Done. Now, what is the definition of a minus b? That is x belongs to a and x does not belongs to b. X belongs to a and x does not belongs to b. Now, what is the definition of uh, a intersection b? A intersection b definition here. Suppose x belongs to A intersection B. Tetiya ki hoi? Tetiya hoi X belongs to A and X belongs to B. X yatu wa se, X tatu wa se. Only and only then it will stay in A intersection B, right? But, jodhi A thakke, aru B na thakke, na thakke. Tetiya hoi X A intersection B ko na thakke, aru A intersection B answer kya hai ho? Fine. If X belongs to A and X does not belongs to B, then A intersection B nai tethi x. Therefore, I can say A intersection B will be equal to what? Phi. Because x A does and x B nai. It should stay in A also and it should stay in B also. Then only we will get an intersection. But since x A does and b nai, it will intersection will not thake. Karavan intersection of kiya se, phi as se. Understood? A intersection B is equal to phi. Now, we will prove the converse part. So, conversely, Conversely, let this time we will take this as our given a intersection b equal to 5 to show to show a minus b equal to a. Okay, let us start. Let this time normally we will start. Let x belongs to a minus b. Simple. Definition is what? It means x belongs to A and x does not belongs to B. It means x belongs to A and x does not, does not belongs to B. So what does this mean? It means x A the sec into B 9. B 9 na? From here we are clear that it is not in B. So the B 9, forget about B, implies x belongs to A. 
x belongs to a minus b implies x belongs to a. It is the definition of difference. X belongs to a and x does not belong to b. So the b is not. Forget about b. How is b? Okay. X a does not. Okay. X belongs to a. So x belongs to a minus b. X belongs to a. Therefore, therefore, a minus b is a subset of a equation one. Done. Again. Again, let this time. I'll start from here. X belongs to A. Okay. Therefore, I can say what? Therefore, I can say that hundred percent X does not belongs to B. Why? How can I be so sure that if X belongs to A, then X will never stay in B? Why? Because since it is given that A intersection B. Equal to five. It is given that a intersection B is empty. A intersection B will be empty when x जो दी ए था के और जो दी x B two था के ये तो intersection के क्या empty ना है intersection की बारा था कि वो x था कि वो देखो but since intersection is empty so जो दी x ए था के तो क्या वाले x B था कि वो नोवारे और जो दी x B था के तो क्या वाले x ए था कि वो नोवारे it must stay in only one because if it stays in both then intersection will not be empty. But since in given it is said that intersection is empty, so if x belongs to A, then x cannot stay in B. X does not belongs to B. So now x belongs to A, and I am sure that x does not belongs to B. So it implies I can say that x belongs to A difference B. So I have started with x belongs to A, and I've got now x belongs to A difference B. So therefore I can say that A is a subset of A difference B. That is equation two. So from one and two, from one and two, what I can say? I can say that a minus b is equal to a. So this is the way to solve. See, in the first part there was a logical error. Okay, you don't start with x belongs to a intersection b here. Usually we do in this one. We start with left hand side, then you go to right hand side. Start with say this time with right hand side. Then you go to the left hand side, but in this part, don't start in this way because if you write x belongs to a intersection b, then it looks like a logically wrong, right? It looks like logically wrong because x cannot stay in a intersection b. A intersection b, I have to show five. So how can I write let x belongs to a intersection b? Okay. So the key part doubt that the question do no good idea. Okay, sir. Well, sir, say lo ba ebar. Do ba. So the key part buzi no ko apko ebar sabha. So thakhi do the key part doubt that the mu comment do ba. Okay, sir. So next class we will solve question number e and f. Okay. So that's all for this video. Thank you.